God's grace transforms us. Stay tuned to your daily grace inspiration message on feeling on Jesus International. Our reading Bible verse for today is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 4. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Amen. That is powerful. Beloved, most of us would probably have heard about the Ten Commandments, but know nothing about the new covenant of grace that came by Jesus Christ. The world attended the world identifies Christianity with the Ten Commandments. Isn't it sad that the world knows us by the laws that are obsolete and not by the unmerited favor that Christ died to give us? It is no wonder we are losing a whole new generation of young people to the world. The law Lord, the Lord holds no appeal or attraction and the Bible itself calls the law obsolete. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 13. If we keep on shoving the Ten Commandments down the throats of our young people, don't be surprised when they are turned off by legalistic forms of Christianity. More importantly, don't forget that the strength of, this, the strength of sin is the law. The law has no power to stop sin. The law will not impart to them or us our precious identity in Christ, which will give us or the young generation, the younger generation, the strength to abstain from premarital sex, to prevent them from getting into drug abuse and stop them from losing their sexual identity. Only God's sacrifice on the cross can give us or the younger generation new identity as a new creation in Christ Jesus. Young people, if you are a young person listening to me today, when you catch a revelation of Jesus and just how precious you are in his sight, your life will be supernaturally transformed. You will stop being harassed by suicidal thoughts, you stop wanting to put yourself at risk to fit in or to get the attention that you crave. Young ladies, listening to me, you will come if you, if you embrace the gospel of grace and the new covenant of grace, you will become or you will come to see and value yourself differently as you learn to value yourself in the same way Jesus loves you or values you overflowing with Jesus perfect love for an acceptance of you you will not be under the illusion that you need to give your bodies a way to find acceptance and love from me that's from some young from the young guy you will love yourself as Jesus loves you young men you will develop supernatural self-control to manage your raging hormones if you accept Christ, the gospel, and the gospel of grace. You will do it not by your willpower, but through Jesus' power flowing through you. You will learn how to flee yourself from you, youthful lust. You will know that being cool means respecting the opposite sex and not putting yourself and your girlfriends at risk of contracting sexually transmitted diseases and having unwanted pregnancies. Young people, young people, when you look at Jesus, when you, when you know that Jesus has an awesome destiny laid out for you, the desire to be involved in gangs and destructive activities such as alcohol and drug abuse and promiscuity will dissipate in Jesus' unmerited favor and love for you. Supernaturally, your desires for the things of the world 
will disappear as it gets replaced with the desire for Jesus. That is the power of God's grace. That is the power of God's unmerited favor and his unconditional acceptance of us through the cross. What the law could not do, God did for us by sending his own son, Jesus Christ. Amen.